Good morning, viewers. Welcome back to the channel. You're here once again with me, Birdman Johnson, your Birdman. We're playing some Dwarf Fortress here in Verse Tomb, overseeing a fairly large service occurring at our general purpose temple. However, more importantly, the Silvery Priests have returned from exploring Anvil Master. Since the last time I played this, I forgot what I sent them out there to do, but I think they were looting. It is the fifth of Obsidian. Uh, yeah, they, they took some books, it looks like. Which is, I believe, what I wanted them to do, so that's that's good. Um, so, things that are happening. We are currently in the middle of dumping just a whole bunch of garbage. As we always are. I'm doing my best to move all of our tattered clothing and, like, rotten rat remains into the dump pile, as I always am. Uh, but the next thing, now that our Silvery Priests are back, I'm going to experimentally... I'm going to pick a target here. Uh, yeah, have it right here, the Fort of Worked Menaces. I'm going to send the Silvery Priests over here to try to colonize this. <coughs> Still waiting, of course, for our next promotion. We will be entering spring soon, which means that we might get an elven caravan, which would be fantastic. In the meantime, let's take a quick tour down and see what's going on. Of course, the social level is bustling. Every seat in the library is always filled, and there's often at least one extra dwarf just standing there. So I take that as a good sign. Temples, or not temples, taverns, which might as well be temples to the dwarves, right? Usually full of people. And of course, dwarves standing on top of each other in the barracks. You've got this whole, where is it? This whole space to spread out in, gang. And you could be sparring, you could be doing anything. You don't have to do individual combat drills while standing on top of each other. Residential levels are mostly quiet. Uh, most of our dwarves are working at any given time. This crafting level is completely devoid even of materials. I don't know why they're not bringing rocks up here. We should do something about that. And uh, we are still making cheese. Okay, that's fine. What is all this? Kit. This is kit that I kind of... Let's see. Go ahead and melt that. Okay, that's a bird noise I haven't heard before. I wonder if that got picked up on the recording or if I just sound like a lunatic. Beak dog leather backpack. We have a uh, cotton high boot. That's armor. That can go away. Okay, I'm satisfied with that for now. Wood, of course, we're full up on wood because we've been making a point of regularly massacring trees. I'm letting them grow for right now just because we don't really need... needs unrotten totem mobile body part. Well, now hold on for just a moment. Did we somehow run out of skulls? I see at least one more skull that's probably being used by somebody, so we didn't have as many as I thought. Let's go ahead and remove that totem order. Okay. Leather we're fine with. This is all good. Let's make sure we are doing things over here. There we go. And then we'll just pop on by the kitchen real quick. We're not cooking the plump helmets. We are cooking some seeds that we can't use. Not cooking the booze. That's good. Look at all the plump helmet wine. Orphan milk <laughs> and honeybee royal jelly. Ah, oh, yeah. Many, many unused containers. So we're set for that. I'm having an allergic reaction to something, so I'm a little congested, a little scratchy today. If I sound weird, that's why. If I sound weirder than normal, that's why. Let me clarify. That all looks fine. Got a lot of metal still to use. What's supposed to be in here? Ores. Okay. Wait a minute. 
That's a wheelbarrow. No, 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 no. No wheelbarrows. None. You put that away. Wheelbarrows are garbage. We're trading away all of our wheelbarrows. I'm not going to go through these piles right now. What are you doing down in the bunker? Are you just hanging out down here? Get out of here. Go work. Go find something to do. Aha! We still need... Some weapon racks down here. We still need to build more weapon racks. Do we have any armor stands left? We do, but do we need any more armor stands in the bedrooms? Or can we? Yes, we do. Okay, we, we still need some more. So let's check our stocks again. We got plenty of copper yet, so let's make some copper weapon racks and some copper armor stands. Well, we don't have plenty of copper, but it's not like we have any use for it in particular. Um, this is fine. This is just elf trash that we haven't gotten rid of yet. Oh good, they're making loincloths out of the intelligent undead. Fantastic. And out of wolf and fox men. Great. This is some kind of furry nightmare. Right, hold it. Dingo man. Buzzard man. Wolf and fox man. Friends soldier. Red squirrel man. All the loin... Emu man. All the loincloths are made out of people. Hmm. Interesting. Mandate has ended. This one's backpacks. Chains. Same guy. All right. Prisoners. Um, just one. Just Katn over here, and she's not particularly happy. She's under a little bit of stress because she's in jail for violating a production order or a trade order, whichever one. Oh, we actually need quite a few more armor stands and weapon racks. And then there's nothing going on down here. We will proceed. Oh, means unrotten bone. Okay. We will proceed down to the mining level. Okay, we have lots of rocks here. Why is this quartzite not being brought up? Maybe I should designate one of our peasant dwarves. I, I overshot. There we are. Nope, not this one. Maybe I should designate one of our peasant dwarves exclusively to carry rocks, huh? Okay, now there's some kind of police activity outside. That's fun. Yeah, quartzite's on the list. Okay, I'm going to have to close the window. <laughs> Too many sirens outside now. Um, okay. Well, tell you what, let's bring up Dwarf Therapist, and I will find somebody suitable. Actually, I suppose I don't need... Okay, there are a lot of sirens outside. I don't need that to do this, though. Let's find... Let's see. How about this fish dissector? Hauling, your... Uh, let's see, we'll leave you on burial. Uh, food, refuse, furniture, animal, trade good is fine. Okay, there we go. That's your job now. Get to it. When you're done reading. Are the silvery priests all back yet? Yeah, they are. Okay, let us try this. Um, we can't. Okay, well, that's good to know. So then, what about an abandoned dwarven settlement? Is there one of those around? Oh, how about the capital? The old capital. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Dagger Romance. Nope, we can't. Okay, now that's very interesting. So I will need to manually settle that. That's slightly irritating. Yeah, there's nothing going on. Uh, let's, actually, you know what? Let's send them. No, we already explored the capital, didn't we? I didn't find anything. You know what? Let's send them out again. Not like we have anything to lose. Get to it, team. <laughs> there should be relatively little danger, right? One would think. I don't know. Um, nobody's bringing rocks up. 
It's very odd. What if I allowed them to use wheelbarrows? How many wheelbarrows do we have? I don't know where wheelbarrows are. Are they under tools? Yes, we have one wheelbarrow. Um, let's make two more wheelbarrows out of wood. And for the rock pile here, we will enable wheelbarrows. Think we can have three? Okay. Just checking to make sure it wasn't waiting for like a specific stockpile. Oh, actually, let's make three more because I also want some over here. Okay. We'll see how that goes. I feel like I just got done being sick, but this, I'm not sick. I'm just having some kind of allergic reaction to something, I think. I think. If I don't die, we'll know for sure. Okay, now there's still stuff on the ground over here. What is all this? Just trash that hasn't been disposed of yet. Oh, this is where all the toys are for some reason. Okay. That's why the children are out here. Maybe I should build a playroom for the children? Nah, they're fine. Still need to distribute those lead toys, but I am hoping that an elven caravan will arrive. Okay, that's claimed. They're just not picking up that one loose bolt, which is probably fine. Hoping an elven caravan arrives in the next couple of weeks. Or just, like, in the next three months, I guess. So that we can force them to take our toxic goods. Clear glass amem bells. Amem. Okay. Here's a question. Amem. That'll be under instruments or tools. Okay. So we still need the um, keyboard... And the bells, or the case, uh, hopefully those don't need to be made out of glass. I suppose we'll find out, huh? Once Limmel here gets done drinking and goes to approve some work orders. But of course you have to take, oh, because there are no drinks in there. Oh right, they're just across the hall. I, I already forgot. How I, well, it's been weeks since I started this, so I'm allowed to forget how I set up my fortress, right? All of our other squads are back, right? Yeah, okay, we can. Hello. What are you? Conscripts. Right. I remember this. We're looking for... There was a swords dwarf, wasn't there? There we go, master... Nope, that's dealer. It's not gonna work. There was a swords dwarf I think I wanted to assign here. Sure. It even the fish dissector. All right. Now then, let's pick our next target. <laughs> These have been purged. Look at all the dead goblins. There we go. Mine hated. We will uh, pillage them. And we will assign you three. Get to it. Try not to sniff snorf directly into the microphone. Okay, well, wheelbarrows are getting made. Now, hopefully, once we have wheelbarrows, they will begin uh, you know, doing the work. Interrupted by, if you say giant fly, giant fly, okay. I just sent out the crossbow squad. Oh, we have one. Oh, we're going to eat that. Okay. 
Oh no, the Mark Stores are still here. Okay, Crystalline Swamps. Nope, they are leaving. They just haven't gotten there yet. Right, okay. Where are these giant flies that are supposedly attacking us? Are we actually... Who's it? Why are you fighting with the dog? Okay, oh, it's Dealer. Carry on. Okay, looks like our hunters are maybe trying to shoot down those flies. So, uh... We haven't gotten any yet. But hopefully that results. Is this our guy? Yep, that's Eshtan. Poor guy. No job. <laughs> no work for Eshtan. Should probably just put him back in the militia so he can die in the field, right? wheelbarrows. And there are three wheelbarrows in there. Now we just need folks to agree to use them. Hmm. Oh, the Silvery Priests are back. That was fast. Yeah, okay, there's nothing there. Alright, so we're going to give up on that for now. Um, is there anywhere else I want them to go? Flight ranges? Hey, that gives me an idea. Yeah, skirt ships, skirts rule. They like skirts. Drink cyclone, calm bears. Strong shove. Oh, wow, okay, a lot of depopulated. Here we go, heather loot. That's fairly close-ish. Let us... Demand, Surrender, and Occupy. And then once the Silvery Priests are actually back, we can uh, equip them as conscripts and send them back out. Interrupted by Giant Fly! Yep. Oh, and it looks like we're at a horn. Is that so? Yep. Oh, no. What have I done? Hang on. All right. Let's be reasonable about this. Okay. There we go. Dishmab Delzatislan. Is that one of ours? Unclear. Okay, we do have this giant fly, so, um... Butcher that. Thank you. Don't think too hard about it. We got plenty of food and drink for now. And our created wealth is at, what is that, 10 million. A little under 10 and a quarter million. We've exported just over a million. Hmm. That's probably not enough, is it? <sighs> I'm dying. That's a little dramatic. I'm slightly uncomfortable. Oh good, okay, we can make the MM cases. We can make the MM case. Can we make the keyboard? Okay, well I can't send any details, so. No, oh, what do you have? What do you have? A dead giant fly, a mangled mutilated giant fly carcass. Fantastic. This fight. Oh, well, gee, Catton. Are you chained to the wall a little bit? Are you feeding the captive? You're storing an item in a stockpile. Oh yeah, you're probably taking that to Catton, huh? Watch out, she's gonna punch ya. Did she do it? No. Good. Okay, apparently we're out of horn. Right, that was the thing I actually went in here to check. Yeah, okay. No, we still have some hoof. We still have some hoof. Okay. Um, dump it, I guess. Can 
Okay, where are these bones? That they said we were at a bone. They're they're there. Okay. As you were. Any progress on that rock yet? No. Okay. Well, let's try something here. Um. Okay. So here's here's the money. Here, let's let's do it here. No, we still have lots of rock here that can be moved. What's going on? Why are we not moving rocks? Look at all that. Look at all that rock. Maybe I should order some things made out of rock. What was that announcement? Ah. Okay, we're out of copper, so rock armor. Rock weapon. Here we go. Put the stonemasons to work. They haven't had much to do for a while. Okay, they're all back, so let's change their uniforms. I don't remember how to do that. Do, do, do. Uniforms, conscripts. Ah, there we are. If I just pay attention, uh, we're going to assign Silvery Priests, Conscript, Use for Squad. Okay. Now then, missions Seize Heather Loot, assign Silvery Priests. Ten guys we can afford to lose, I guess. Okay, now I see you heading out. Do you have equipment? You got some stuff, and you are looking for more, so that, that's a good sign. What are you going to end up with? That's the real question. Oh, what are you going over there for? No, hold it, what'd you pick up? Pigtail shoe? Is that what we're looking at? Yeah, you're only wearing clothing, so that, that seems to be it. Okay. Okay. You enjoy that. <laughs> it's almost the new year. Which will be uh, 26 years since we started this world in game time. And it feels like in real time, even though it's actually been slightly less than a year. At the time I am recording this. Dogs are being perpetually stung by bees. And, of course, giant fly attacks. Could they leave, please? Could they just go? Just not be here no more? Yeah, okay, you don't have to do that anymore. I cancelled... I cancelled the order, so please stop trying to do that. Although that is, that is Logan, so that's nice. That he's trying to do labor. Even though he is a big, important count now. And hopefully soon, a big, important duke. And then maybe, if the queen dies, King Logum? I don't know. I suppose we'll find out. I suppose it could be kind of fun to try to uh, recolonize some of our empty settlements here. That could be very interesting. Noble Buckled is doing well. I would love to know what they have inside of them without having to uh, without having to open Legends Viewer. But I suppose that might be the only option, huh? Okay, you can stop. You can just stop. Does anyone else have one of those tasks queued up? Okay, great. Stop now. Can we do anything at the smelters? Uh, nothing productive. Oh, pig iron. That's productive. <laughs> Let's 
start those and we'll start that one melting okay yes steel is always a productive enterprise for us At this point, I'm just kind of waiting for the year to turn. Oh, and there it goes. And now an extended silence. Broken only by the sound of my sniffling. Okay. It is spring now. That, again with the bones. Okay, fine. Okay, what do we need for the Amum keyboard? Conditions, details, but I can't look at that. But nobody's saying they can't do it. it needs to be made of glass, doesn't it? We have an MM. Um, musical instruments. This. A granite MM named Peace Grinds. Um, okay. The MM is a large handheld wooden musical instrument above which hang 44 glass bells, right? We've seen one of these. It's a glass keyboard, so we do need. We do need a glass shop. Do we not have a glass shop? I guess we wouldn't necessarily. But let's um do 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 go all the way down, right? Uh let us for the time being deconstruct one of our magma smelters and we'll replace that with a glass right? Yes, a magma glass furnace. I suppose we can do a magma kiln, too. We don't really need six smelters at this time. Interrupt my giant flies. Just kill them. Just kill them. I'm sorry, what was that? Why are we using wheelbarrows down here? Stop it. Are we, are we doing... Okay, we are doing the rock stuff. They're just not bringing the rocks to the stockpiles. Two of our birds are dead. Why? Looks like possibly old age. Yeah, if they're down here and there's no combat report, then it's old age. Okay, that's fine. Because if you'll notice, we have a lot of animals. We don't actually need all these. They're, they haven't killed that fly yet. Not a fan. We're going to have a lot of sheep to eat very soon. And some rabbits. Nom nom. Uh, now these are pets, right? Yeah, so we won't be eating these. We could. That's an option. Hmm? Hey, there we go. They slaughtered the fly. Sorry about the sniffling, but that is not going to be edited out. That's just something you have to deal with. If I have to suffer, so do you. That's the rule. The only reason I will tear up the golden road is if we suddenly have the resources to make a platinum road. Oh, dogs. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> fine. Actually, you know what? Yeah, it's fine. Good, war train. <laughs> it's whatever. We'll take all the war animals with us when we make our final assault on scorpion spray over here. Awful lot of abandoned settlements. Almost like we're at war, huh? Okay, they're still traveling, which means they haven't been wiped out yet. <laughs> of course, we don't know what to expect. Uh, this is dealer. And, um, 
at this elven settlement we've sent the silvery priests to, that'll be a giant fly. Um, I don't know if this is a real elven settlement or a goblin settlement. So it is entirely possible that there will be 27 trolls when they get there, in which case they'll all die. We're going to need a fair number of war beasts. What's Logan doing? Ah, war training one of our dogs. Boy, Logan is a man of many, many talents. I'm just eternally impressed with him. Tell us what the month is. Granite. We're into granite now. Really hoping an elven caravan arrives, because if one doesn't, then the next dwarven caravan is getting all those lead things that we made. That's just what we're going to have to do. Ooh, that's... Aha! Okay. A magma glass furnace. What do you need? You need there. So if I park you there, that'll work. Uh, make yourself out of gabbro blocks. The kiln is in the same spot. That's fabulous. That goes there. Also made out of gabbro blocks. Proceed, please. Dogs. We only need so many untrained male dogs at any given time. We can probably get sand from up here, right? Yeah, we can. This will be the sand. Oh, and really, we can get clay from up here, too? Okay. Where? Suppose we'll find out. Actually, not that concerned about clay. I don't see where it thinks we can get clay from. All right. Not worried about it. <sighs> oh, we lost somebody from the wild chambers. Okay. Hey, check that out, it worked. Um, we now own Heather Loot, which is supposedly full of elves. So that's neat. That's something we did. Okay, and we're also out that squad now, which is... Uh, well, we're not out that squad. Okay. We have that a minute to resolve and see what happens. There they are, Heather Loot. We could try snarled shoves, but we'll need some more dwarves first. Not sure how that's going to look, but, you know, maybe we'll get some migrants, right? I guess hypothetically migrants can arrive at any time. What are all these guys doing? English staff searched has claimed the position of administrator of the paint of glowing. English? Okay, hold it. First of all, I'm gonna do, these are all, we're all storing, dumping and storing items, which is about what we would expect. Okay. English? You? No? English staff search has claimed the position of administrator of the paint of glowing. Oh, that must be one of the guys that we just sent to Heather whatever. Um, Heather Loot. Okay. Cool, that makes sense then. Oh yeah, now we're making some progress. Look at you all dumping things. That's what I like to see. I love to see dwarves doing a big dump. This 
this is just weirdly satisfying. I kind of hate how much I like just watching them carry things. It's almost hypnotic. Okay, we're still waiting on these guys to come back. What happened to you? Who were you? I'm not going to review the footage to find out, but I think we lost somebody. I'm very tempted to try this again with snarled shoves. I think we will. I think once we get some more disposable dwarves, we'll try again with snarled shoves. <laughs> We're going to be a nice, big, multicultural empire. Where elves and goblins are second-class citizens. And humans are probably kept as pets because they're so rare. Oh yeah, by the way, we have the sand and glass furnace now. Yes, turns out... Um, and keyboards do need to be made of glass. We got a kiln now. Um, looks like we're collecting clay. I, I don't know, man. Um, we'll make some clay crafts, I guess. Just to see how that goes down. How much clay do we have right now? Because we really don't need a lot. What will that be under? Blocks? Stone? I never deal with clay. Yeah, okay. Alright, so go ahead and stop doing that. Cool. Great, so now we have um, clay and glass. So those are effectively infinite resources. I suppose we could start covering everything in green glass no no that's a little much although you can bet that if I found a if I found an area with surface magma lava I guess and a clay supply or a glass supply either way we would be a oh yeah glass supply I would build a green glass tower maybe that could be a later project a fort where every single thing we own is made from green glass you heard me. Everything. Even the clothes. That's not going to work. That would be tremendously uncomfortable. Oh, we're back. I was not paying attention. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, let's look at the mission report for this. What happened exactly? Did they just walk up and say, this is ours now? And the elves said, okie doke. <laughs> yep. There we go. Okay. Uh, paint of glowing. There we go. That answers my question. Okay. All right. Now then. Pillaging mine hated. Tell me you killed a bunch of them. Uh, okay, we did lose a dwarf. Killed by a troll, so that is what happened there. That said, our dwarves are mighty warriors. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, encountered five trolls, killed four, two goblins, killed them both. I nod, hatched a stunning strategy, and the attackers had a strong positional advantage. Yeah, we did. We seized livestock. That means beak dogs. And there they are. A bunch of garbage and seven more beak dogs. Okay. Well, good effort, team. Let's take a look at mine hated real quick. Um, okay, still approximately 75 of them there, so we'll need to hit them maybe a couple more times before we actually torch the place. That's fine, I'm fine with that. We are getting up to the point here where getting the queen here and torching scorpion spray are the only things left that we need to do to meet the objectives of this experiment. So for the time being, we're just going to keep rolling south, I guess. The dwarf and forest retreat. We'll add whatever settlements down here that we can morning lances I'm a little worried about this oh look at that ooh ooh those are very small we could take those easily so we'll take whatever settlements we can and once we have the queen here we will make our way toward scorpion sprays and then we'll be done with uh, verse 2 forgot the name of the settlement for a moment there 
This has gone really well, and I've enjoyed it a lot, but I'm also looking forward to doing something else. So they're building stone crafts for us, but they're not hauling the stone to the stockpile. So I've done something weird. I've designated some stone stockpiles here, kind of halfway up, see if maybe that makes the difference. I doubt, oh, it's, it's not quite halfway up, but it's closer. Um, what is the hotkey for the bunker? Did I hotkey that specifically? No. Okay, then, let's find the bunker. The bunker is... What is this? Is this a work level? It's nothing. Okay. Then let me find the bunker again. <laughs> This is the smelting level. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, or seven, eight. Okay, one, two, three, what? There we go. It's two down from shift F1. Okay, I'm gonna need to remember that in a minute. Uh, okay, so here's, here's where all the quartzite is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty-six. So it is thirty-six floors up from where we're actually mining. Um, so then, first of all, let's do this. Shift F7. We'll zoom here, and the name will be mine. And we're going to do something very weird and silly. Bear with me. <clears throat> oh, there we go. What? What am I doing? There we go. I don't know that it actually matters. I just don't like having stuff on the staircases. There we go. set it here for now then um, let's see there's really no good place to put a stone stockpile up here okay well it doesn't matter at that point okay now then this one is going to take from this one this one is going to take from this one. This one is going to take from this one. And so on. These three will take from here. And then these three are already giving to this one up here, which is in turn giving to these two. I'm not sure this is going to work, but we're going to try stuff and see what happens. As we do. Nobody's doing anything yet. We'll give it a minute. Look at all the beat dogs. We should slaughter those immediately. They're not acting. Uh, yeah, they're there. Okay. Butcher, 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 butcher. Fantastic. Okay. As you were, dwarves. As you were. Okay, so here's something I haven't seen before. We got this note here. Cole Uvarovod has grown to become a peasant. If we look at Cole over here, 
playing make-believe. Isn't that interesting? I guess if they age up while they're doing a child activity, they keep doing it. I've never seen that before. So that's really interesting. Um, I have assigned her some labors. We'll see what she does after she's done playing make-believe. Which apparently is going to take a minute. Uh, dealer has slipped into depression. That's nothing new. Dealer is welcome to be as depressed as Dealer wants. A vile force of darkness has arrived. Just in time for me to have dispatched three of our squads out to attack that settlement again. Uh, where are they? Why am I not seeing them? There they are. Over on the right side. Okay. Everybody in. Here we go. Oh no, they're shooting at us. Run, 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 run. That's a child. The child's dead. And the child's dead. Okay. Well, that was the thing that happened. How many of them are there? What is a vile force of darkness exactly? Comes a beak dog recruit. What's with animals being labeled recruits lately? I'm not sure I care for that. Let's move our remaining squads. Well, actually, let's give everybody a chance to get inside first. Because I don't want any one of these guys trying to turn around and fight right now. Okay, the dogs should be able to tear apart one goblin, right? Uh, well, maybe not. Come on, dogs, get in there. Puppies, you too. Everybody fights. Okay, there are war dogs over there. Are you even hurt? You're not even hurt. See, this is why war animals just don't really serve that much of a purpose. Okay, a few more of them are coming in. This is, this is a real attack here. So I'm confident that pulling everyone inside was the right decision. What happened to you? Oh, the goblin crossbow and you're wounded. What was it the child? Hmm. And there's a dead one. The the dog child is fighting. Hmm. Interesting. And it's like, which one you are? You are song. Oh, right, we have some weapon traps on the ground over here, don't we? Yes, that's what happened. Okay, carry on, as you were. All right, I think everybody's inside. So then, it's been a while, I need to remember. Outer gate, inner gate. Pull. What's this one do? Cyclops cage. Interesting. We have a cyclops and a minotaur in there. We'll, uh, we'll let them move up a little more before we pull that lever. Uh, hold it. Uh, that should be a pull now, actually. Okay, good. Somebody's doing it. Lever is pu pu pulled. Pulled. So, so many canceled tasks. The animals are going to be splattered by the bridges. That's fine. Somebody actually doing the job? Pull the lever, Aban! Nobody should be very far away from it. What is the delay? Thank you. Okay, as soon as those bridges are up, we, uh... As soon as those bridges are up... Just, just as soon as those... There we go, okay. Inactive. There we go. That'll help with things. Okay. We don't have all of our squads here right now. Also, we don't actually have seven silvery priests. They're still traveling for some reason. Not entirely sure what happened there. Um, the dogs are not doing much. 
for Los Goblerinos. Um, we will lock this to keep them out of the... Oh, in fact, we will throw the other lever down here, because I just remembered what this one does. That'll close off everything up here. They got a lot of crossbow bolts, it looks like, so I am fine with letting them expend those on the animals before we do anything else. That's a lot of dead dogs. A lot of dead dogs. Okay, I believe everything is sealed up here. We still got a few dogs left, so that's fine. I can't help but notice that the frame rate has improved slightly since the goblins killed most of our dogs. Probably bobcats. Just let them expend themselves. I'm gonna do it. Let's see, what do we have in here? Minotaur, Hamster Man, Cyclops. Okay, well, this kind of feels like a waste, but uh... Go ahead, let him out. See what happens. And they're out. Um, Cyclops is down. Minotaur is down. I'm gonna assume the Hamster Man died at some point in there. Yeah. Nope. Yep, there. Okay. Alright. Well, that was unfortunate. I would have liked to use them for something more interesting, but it was worth a shot. They accomplished nothing. Alright. This is going to be messy no matter what. Um, the good news is, we do have quite a few of them in cages, um, and I don't see any trolls, so let's go ahead and let them out. We will rush to the attack. It's not like our dwarves are scrubs. We're finding many, many dead puppies. Who is pulling that lever? Meditation on jealousy while we're under siege. Interesting choice. Maffle, the performer. Lever is pulled. Gates are open, and the militia is spilling forth. Our frame rate tanks instantly. Um, the good news is, once our dwarves get into the goblins, it's generally over pretty quickly. My only concern is individual dwarves getting swamped. We will hold there. This always makes me nervous. Okay, Logan's fine. We haven't lost anyone. Okay, sure. Um, no, we can deal with the Silvery Priests later. Okay, they killed one of our cats. It is really hard to tell what's going on here, but I'm fairly certain that we are winning. <laughs> oh boy, there the, the blood and teeth everywhere. Dwarves in the mix. Okay, let's hold there. Nobody lost there. Okay, Logan's fine. If we lose Logan, I'm going to be heartbroken. Okay. Interrupted by what? Interrupted by a goblin accident. Why are you trying to come up here? Go back down. You idiot. You know there's fighting going on up here. I noticed the frame rate improving slightly, which means that we're killing them. Pause there. Move in that direction. We got some guys going up here for some reason. Interesting choice. Uh, some folks are firing over there. That there, there are indeed some goblins. So let's assign the wild chambers to move in this general direction. Okay. Some killing is occurring over here and over there. Are we done? We're done. Let's 
survey says one militia casualty and a skinless lemur is now attacking the fortress. The forgotten beast Belifo has come. A towering skinless lemur, it has two long curly tails, and it belches and croaks beware its poisonous bite. Where is it? It's on the right there. Okay then. Okay, gang, we're not done here yet. Oh, that's so much stuff to clean up. Is, is that what everybody's doing? Yeah, we're recovering wounded, storing items, stockpiling. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, let's actually pay attention to this lemur. It is heading toward the fortress. And we will let it get all the way up to the door, and then we will lock the door. Thus preventing it from entering the fortress. Amazing. Interrupted by a giant raven. Oi, guys. <laughs> Sorry, what was that last alert? Is stumbling around obliviously? Oh, whoops. That'll be... No? You're up here. Are you not in prison anymore? I forget where our prison is. There it is. Oh, yep. Catten's out of prison just in time for her to go insane. Fantastic. Lemur is lurking here by the back door. Boy, this one got real head up real quick, huh? Isn't that interesting? Everybody's on the move, right? Like this is happening? We'll give that a minute to resolve. Oh man. Oh man, there is so, so much stuff here. How much of this is just goblin teeth? We didn't actually... We did lose somebody from the Creative Fountains. Um, so we need a new Spear Dwarf. We will begin by promoting one from the Conscripts. Uh, how about Thick on the Spinner? There we go. Nobody from the Roads of Growth. Squash Chambers, they're out. Crystal and Swamps. Wild Chambers, good. Bristles of Crystal, good. We lost one from the Fatal Seals. These are Spear Dwarves. Right, no, we didn't lose anybody. I transferred them. So, uh, Babok the Peasant, you're a Spear Dwarf now. Congratulations. And Silvery Priests, this is weird. Um, let's just assign some folks and see what happens, I guess. Okay, anyway. Enough of the bookkeeping. Okay, dwarves are beginning to arrive down here in the basement. Mainly, I am waiting for Logum to arrive on scene. Oh, Count of Heatherloot now. That's interesting. Okay. That should do us. We got a few dwarves down here. CKL. Um, ba -ba. Not Otira. Otira's fine. We're good with Otira. Belifo. There we are. Okay. Let us follow the beast. Which is making its way toward our militia. It is aware that it can enter the fortress now. We're into the fight. The dwarves pile in. And Lamer is dead. Job done. We did it. And, you know what? That seems like a pretty good place to wrap it up for today. A little excitement right there at the end. So as we watch the dwarves sort through all this... Hey folks, thanks once again for watching. Thanks to those of you who are subscribed to the channel, thanks to those of you who are not yet subscribed to the channel, and thanks once again to those of you who are watching this without ever intending to subscribe to the channel, particularly if you've made it this far in the video. Because uh, you count too, every view counts. We will be back here next week with more Dwarf Fortress in the meantime. What are we doing? I don't know what's coming up on Wednesday, but we do have at least one more episode of Shadows of Doubt. We started a run on Narcosis, and I am trying my best to get the episodes of the Call of Cthulhu 50 subscriber special out before we hit 100 subscribers. We're at 92 at time of recording. <sighs> anyway, there's lots of content on the channel. Check it out. I appreciate every view I get, every subscriber. You're all wonderful. I'll see you folks next time. Birdman out.